Hi, and welcome to the session where we will be announcing WebLogic Server 14.1.2 and outline a complete, integrated, and future-proof approach to your application development. My name is Phil Chung. I'm part of the Enterprise Cloud Native Java Product Management Team. The, the products we'll be focusing on are Oracle WebLogic Server. That is our traditional Java app server. There's also a flavor for OCI Cloud where we will have integration with our cloud native cloud services. Heladon is our open source microservices framework. It's available on GitHub and you do get commercial support and we have WebLogic licenses. Coherence is our in open source in-memory data grid. Uh, again, it's available on GitHub. There are commercial editions and WebLogic Suite also includes WebLogic Enterprise Edition. So these products focus on mission critical features and functionality. We provide uh, product integration across the board for these products to ensure that they work well together and also on a variety of different environments such as uh, cloud, uh, multi-cloud, and also on any type of environment you might have, uh, physical machines on-premise and virtual machines, containers, Kubernetes clusters, private and public deployments as well. If you look at a list of these sessions that we uh, provided at Oracle Cloud World 2024, if you have any interest in any of these topics, uh, please reach out to us via your Oracle account management teams. As a foundation, WebLogic Server focuses on ultra high performance, uh, ensuring data integrity for your applications and making sure that you have a upgrade path and making it easy to manage and monitor and observe. Uh, also for patching as well. We have the best uh, data tier support for the Oracle database, coherence and memory data grid, MySQL database, along with a host of third party uh, data tier products. The standards that WebLogic Server 14.1.2 adhere to are Jakarta EE8 and also the Java uh, 17 and 21. They are the long-term supported versions of, of Java. With regard to manageability, we provide a wealth of different frameworks and, and tools that you can use. I'll be talking about the new remote console uh, that replaces the admin console. Uh, along with the scripting and the REST APIs and the diagnostic frameworks, the, those continue to be available with WebLogic. The availability that is provided, uh, we provide clustering for high availability and disaster recovery so that you can migrate with zero downtime and uh, without any, um, uh, any data loss. As, uh, and last but not least is modernization and we uh, advocate that WebLogic can be run in a Kubernetes cluster. Uh, there is the WebLogic Kubernetes Toolkit, uh, also available on, on GitHub, that allows you to read the configuration of a WebLogic domain, and it can spit out a YAML configuration file that can be easily deployed onto Kubernetes and make it easy to migrate uh, to cloud. Now, this is a support lifecycle uh, timeline. You can see 14.1.2 will provide five years of premier support and three years of extended support. The previous long-term supported version is 12.2.1.4. It will continue to be supported until the end of 2026 with extended support uh, for another year. Error correction for 14.1.1 means that you have exactly two years from the date of 14.1.2's GA date uh, for premier support uh, for 14.1.1. WebLogic Server can run in uh, multi-cloud, which means uh, not only OCI, but Azure, AWS, and GCP. We have made a number of improvements over the years to patching to ensure that WebLogic stays uh, highly secured and hardened and uh, you know, uh, making sure that it is up to date as much as possible. Switching gears slightly, um, I had mentioned Heladon. It's a open source microservices framework. The landing page is heladon.io. So it's a very small, lightweight, and efficient. Uh, the claim to fame for Heladon is that it is built from the ground up using a feature called Java Virtual Threads. So this makes it highly scalable up to millions of virtual threads on one JVM. But 
really the the benefit of that is that you get the performance of reactive style code or asynchronous code with the simplicity of imperative style coding. Uh, and the, the side effect is that uh, the code is much more readable and there are there, there is no baggage of the reactive style of coding in that um, you do uh, you do not get the, the poor debugging and the inability to step through your code. And the stack traces um, ha have been poor uh, with, react with reactive style of, of code. There is a whole host of integration uh, possibilities with uh, WebLogic and Helidon. So you might have an existing footprint of WebLogic and you might want to leverage the benefits of microservices, uh, uh, primarily time to market so that you can quickly build out functionality via microservices with small teams and integrate that in a variety of different ways. And we have ensured that they work and, and we have documented um, all the different scenarios. Coherence Community Edition was released in 2022. It's open source edition of Coherence. And over the, the past two years, we have also continued to innovate and add features and functionality to Coherence through the Community Edition. One major feature that we have recently added is uh, the vector database or vector store capability. This is useful for semantic similarity search and also for RAG or retrieval augmented generation so that you can augment LLMs like ChatGPT and Llama 3 with your own proprietary uh, corporate data with your internal documents, confluence and wikis so that you have factual content that you can provide the LLMs for uh, generating responses. Coherence 14.1.2 has a number of features um, and they are the aggregation of all of the previous releases from the Coherence uh, Community Edition. And this is just a short list of the new uh, features and enhancements. The Coherence AI vector database capability will be added in a subsequent patch to 14.1.2. This is an example of using Helidon and Coherence for our, the Oracle Banking Cloud Services. If you look at the throughput, it's a near linear uh, uh, increase in the throughput. And that is due to the architecture and design of Helidon and Coherence to minimize and reduce the single points of bottleneck and single points of failure. Now, the flagship 14.1.2 of WebLogic, we will also support the Oracle Fusion Middleware 14.1.2 stack on top of that. We are certified and tested to run on the long-term supported versions of Java 17 and 21. And this is a short list of some of the highlighted capabilities and new features uh, of which one of it, uh, I had mentioned the WebLogic Remote Console. Um, well, sorry, the uh, one added benefit of the upgrade is you do see a performance improvement just by upgrading from WebLogic 12.214 and Java 8 to WebLogic 14.1.2 and Java 17, you get up to 28% performance improvement just by a simple act of upgrading. So it's a, it's a nice, uh, happy side effect. Now, the WebLogic Remote Console is a completely revamped uh, UI for administering and managing WebLogic domains, uh, multiple domains. It is a modern UI and has replaced the older admin console that has uh, been around since the beginning of WebLogic. So uh, you can run this in a number of different ways. Uh, it, it also has the same uh, core as uh, uh, and look and feel as the WebLogic Kubernetes Toolkit UI. But you can run this either as a installed desktop application, like an Electron application, or you can uh, reach it via browser uh, URL. And that the, the back end of that would be hosted in the WebLogic Web admin server. Another key feature is the upgraded Oracle JDBC driver 23.5. One of the benefits is that it includes some functionality called a, a service provider interface or SPI that allows us to externalize the configuration 
meaning the URL for a JDBC driver, the username, password, wallet location, and JDBC parameters. And that allows you to centrally manage that in a cloud service uh, such as OCI Vault or Azure Vault. And this allows you to uh, basically manage and configure a fleet of WebLogic instances in the cloud very easily. And this helps to lower the uh, friction for um, operations and increases security and lowers TCO. Some other improvements, uh, we have uh, made HTTPS the default secured uh, protocol for production mode. OIDC support has been added. There has been improvements to reduce the false positives in vulnerability or CVE scanning. Um, there are some minor improvements to SAML for single sign-on. And also for the FIPS 140 encryption infrastructure, we have uh, revamped it to make it much more modular. Um, and we are using under the hood a project called Jifer, uh, which Oracle plans to open source. And one of the benefits of that is that when there is a requirement for post-quantum cryptography, we can push out a uh, small patch to turn that on uh, very easily. OID support uh, is uh, added and, and enabled for WebLogic 14.1.2, and you can configure it with identity providers such as Keycloak or Microsoft Intra ID. There are load balancing improvements, uh, certification with um, Nginx and uh, load balancers and just the uh, ingress controllers in uh, Kubernetes to support the, the native uh, Kubernetes load balancers. The upgrade considerations. So uh, there's very high compatibility between WebLogic uh, 12.214 and 14.12. Uh, in our testing, um, we, we suggest that you run the WebLogic migration analysis tool to find out which APIs have been deprecated and removed. Um, in general, we see very little code change, if at all. Uh, of course, you do have to test. We will also provide a open rewrite recipe. Uh, if you don't know, open rewrite is an open source framework to provide guidance and advice when upgrading uh, applications and frameworks. So in a nutshell, we have tried to provide a comprehensive path for customers really a complete integrated future-proof approach to application development, whether you are continuing with a traditional modular monolithic architecture uh, with WebLogic, or you want to augment that with microservices um, with uh, Helidon and Coherence. And regardless of what functionality you add or, or what environment, we will support you all along that way. Thank you.